All right, guys, I'm doing a basic video. Yes, I got this hanging from my ceiling in a box. Nothing fancy, going a little OG here. But the problem is, nobody shows you how to flame paint online very well. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of basic flame painting. Real simple, real basic tools. What we start out, we're gonna use a, just regular old propane torch, propane burner, get it at Harbor Freight, $29. Hook it up to your propane, <coughs> like that, you get from your grill, piece of cake. No fancy oxyacetylene torch or nothing. Real easy, real cheap. So we're gonna take basic 18 gauge cold roll steel. It starts out plain like this. And after I grind it, then we So that's the design I ground on it. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little flame paint to it. This is a short, simple video. I'll be shooting more videos. I've had a lot of friends asking me for videos. So I thought I'd throw one together for you real quick. You don't want your flame real hot. You don't want your flame too much heat. A little bit, just a little past the oil. I found if you heat it slow, it seems to bring out more vibrant colors. If you heat it up too fast, you don't get the real vibrant colors. So what I try to do is just kind of walk around it, just paint it like, it's, like it says, flame paint it. You can start out a little hot at first. You see kind of that shadow leave. First colors that start showing up are your amber, kind of your brown amber colors. After that, it kind of goes into your violet. Then it goes into your sapphire blue, and then your silver blue. And as you're heating it up, you want to, once you go too far, you can't go back. And if, if it goes too far, it'll come back to kind of a gunmetal blue. Not a real pretty color. Now this is all depends on the kind of look you're looking for. So. Some of them I do a lot of blue, some I do a lot of ambers, but I just start watching for it. There's a lot of lights in my, on my ceiling. I got about 50,000 lumens up here to give me lots of light. And I look for the, cap, the shadow cast of kind of an amber tint, and then I start coloring accordingly. And I got different variations. I got a bunch of these to do, so I'll do another video here in a little bit and post it. But see how we're starting to get a little, little amber over here? See if it's starting to heat up? And it takes about a, it's about a three to five second delay. So you just kind of watch it. I'm on this metal box. Sometimes I move around a little bit like that, but you don't have to do that. This is an old metal army box I got. And then what I'll do a lot of times, I'll just start on a small piece. I'll back the heat off because I'm not in a hurry here. But for the video, I'm just trying to make it short to the point without dragging it out too far on bigger pieces and you just you're painting back and forth and you start looking depending on where you want your color in this case I'm going to call the whole thing sometimes I do like a bullseye and an outside part but I'm going to give you a general overlook on this it's pretty cool when you start to see it start popping through showing up Like I say, this equipment's cheap. $40 tank, $30 propane burner. And I purposely use inexpensive tools. I've had expensive tools, but just a $29 grinder from Harbor Freight. And less than $100 and you're doing what I'm doing here. Just lots of practice. See, sometimes you see that line right there. It doesn't do that on some pieces, but some it does. Where you catch the border, where it just kind of traps the heat, so I'll move it around a little bit sometimes. See, then I like to put I like to put the burn blue edges on there too. See, I'm doing that from the edge. Touch that edge. See, some people just like the light amber. You can stop there if you want the violets and the ambers. If 
You see how it just keeps kind of cooking, like cooking a steak. It keeps on moving on you, even after you move the flame away. Just keep painting back and forth, unless you want a real hot spot. get to this point things start happening pretty fast. See how that just boom. So I want a hot blue spot in the middle. Now you get to that silver blue you can't go much farther before you start losing your vibrant color. But it's cool watching it pop out of the metal for sure. Like I say it's up to your own personal taste what you want to do here. Fun. This is something you can do if you got kids. You can do this with your kids. Your kiddos will love it. But the only thing holding you back is your imagination. Sometimes, since this is 18 gauge, it's fairly thin. Back my, my temperature down a little bit. Like I said, the slower heat just seems to bring out more vibrant colors. I've done it all different ways. I've done hundreds of pieces, and some pieces I've just roasted it from the very get go, and it just it'll give you kind of that gunmetal color if you're looking for it, and that's fine if that's what the outcome you're looking for. But other than that, you just come in here and you just kind of slowly just. Work it around, get your edge here. And once it starts heating up, things happen fast, so you can't stay on it as long. So it, it moves fast on you. And I, I got a very low flame here, relatively low flame compared to the standard torch setup. This is nothing temperature wise. But you get some cool effects from the edge. And then what I'll do is a lot of times I try to take off just all the silver, depending on what you're doing. This one here, I just want to give you a full effect of what, what's possible with your flame painting. Is nobody showing you this on the internet? You know, they show you, I don't know what it is, man. There's a lot of guys out there with a lot more talent than me, but they're just not showing you. I don't know what it is. So here you go. Cheap and easy. And then you can play with it as much as you want. You can stop there, you can keep going, getting it brighter and brighter, brighter. but for, for this video's sake, I'm just, I'm about to finish with this one. Any kind of metal box, just don't want to put it on your concrete, because most of you know, you put it on concrete, you heat it up, it'll start popping and making your concrete explode on you. So, any kind of metal box or something like that, if you have a brick, I just like, I don't know, I've, I've always used this. And this has been my, my tool of choice from the very beginning. Old army box that I got from my grandfather many, 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 many years ago. So yeah, we're about finished up here. And there you have it. Voila, flame painted metal. Then all I do is, after it's done, People ask me if it'll warp. No. I'll be honest with you, depending if you're in winter or summertime, right now here in Texas, it's in March, but it just lays out flat as a pancake. And it'll it'll kind of walk around a little bit on you, but uh, after a while, it just flatten out when I pick it up.